What if I told you that you could exponentially improve your fighting skills without throwing a punch, practicing a technique, or rolling around on the mats? And you could do it all from the convenience of your phone or computer. Sounds impossible? Well, let's dive in and see how. Welcome back to the channel. Now here's a question for you. How prepared are you really? Because if you think that self-defense or combat training is just about technique, speed, and power, you're in for a rude awakening. Most people get it completely wrong because true mastery isn't just in the body, it's in the mind and understanding the science behind every strike, every move, and every possible reaction. And today, we're diving deep into this level of science and strategy of combat. If you're serious about protecting yourself, you need to start thinking analytically. Today, I'm breaking combat preparedness down to its core elements, showing you why the analytical side of fighting is the real key to becoming unstoppable. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. Self-defense in combat is all about fighting, not about reading or debating. But here's the truth. If you want to be the best at defending yourself, it's not just about throwing punches or memorizing techniques. It's about understanding the why behind every move, every reaction, and every tactic. And that understanding doesn't come from following instructions. It comes from understanding and dissecting combat down to its atomic parts. Think about it for a second. Before any battle, seasoned military leaders and elite fighters don't just charge in blindly. They break down every possible scenario, analyze their enemy's strengths and weaknesses, and map out strategies down to the smallest detail. They know that true success comes from preparation, understanding the terrain, anticipating every move, and planning for the unexpected. Personal self-defense is no different. If you're solely building physical fighting skills without grasping the purpose behind each and every move, you're neglecting a critical advantage. Now, if this perspective is resonating with you, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with others who are serious about mastering reality-based self-defense. Now, let's dig into why understanding the analytical side of combat is the true path to becoming unstoppable. For instance, I get plenty of challenging comments on my videos, people questioning my techniques, my approach, and even presenting counterpoints, and that's perfectly fine. These comments allow me to demonstrate just how much analysis and firsthand experience has shaped my fighting concepts. To put it into perspective, I've dedicated over 30 years of studying, practicing, and teaching reality-based self-defense, but I didn't stop at just teaching. I've spent a significant part of my life documenting every aspect of it, with over 60 published books and a video library of more than 50 instructional videos on possibly the most prolific author in the field of reality-based self-defense. Why so much writing? Because self-defense is a vast topic, not just a bunch of techniques. It's a science that demands rigorous study, analysis, and understanding. Each book each article and every concept I've shared is designed to give you a deeper, more comprehensive grasp of what it takes to protect yourself and survive. Now, if you've read through my replies to the comments section of my videos, you'll quickly see the depth of analysis and dedication that I've defined in my teaching over the past 30 years. Each response isn't just a justification. It's a testament to the relentless commitment I put into mastering every aspect of combat. This level of dedication is rare, and it's exactly what you'll find in every piece of my work. By reading my rebuttals, you'll uncover the real foundations of self-defense. I'm not just offering opinions. I'm breaking down combat to its granular level. I encourage you to dive into these responses, as they're packed with insights you won't find in a quick video demonstration. So here's the facts. If you really want to master combat, you have to analyze every single aspect of it. Every strategy, every tactic, every move, and every concept needs to be broken down to its atomic part. It's not enough to just know how to execute a technique. You need to understand the physics driving it, the timing that makes it effective, and the intent behind each motion, and more importantly, the psychological impact it has on your adversary. For example, when I'm teaching a Widowmaker technique, it's not just telling you to attack and hope for the best. Instead, I'm breaking down each element of the fighting methodology, body mechanics, 
stance, weight transfer, anchoring for stability, probable reaction dynamics, precise targeting, how to overwhelm the entire cognitive system of the opponent, and the critical legal ramifications of using force in each scenario. Each of these factors demands thorough analysis and mastery if ever you want to use it effectively in a real-world self-defense situation. Look, I know flashy moves are what gets views on YouTube, but if you're going to be serious about fighting, you have to go beyond the surface. Too many people are looking for shortcuts, but shortcuts in self-defense will get you seriously injured or even worse. In real fight, there's pure chaos. It's unpredictable, unforgiving, and explosive. You need to have every component internalized so that when the adrenaline dump takes place and everything is on the line, your response is instinctual, built from a deep level of understanding of what you're doing. So here's what I want you to do. Start reading and start thinking critically. Don't just passively watch YouTube videos. If someone challenges a technique or fighting concept in the comments section of my video, don't brush it off. Analyze it. Break it down. Look at my rebuttals and pay close attention to the details that I lay out. This analytical approach isn't just theory. It builds the mental framework you need to make smart, fast, and effective decisions when it matters the most. I also encourage you to dive into these discussions. Actively engage with the comments and test your own understanding. It's a powerful way to challenge your thinking, sharpen your skills, and see how well you truly grasp these concepts. Remember, combat isn't just about physical moves. It's a mental game too. Additionally, if you're injured or unable to train for a period of time, this is an excellent way to keep your mind sharp. Use these exchanges to test your mettle and grow stronger in both knowledge and mindset. So if you're tired of mediocre training and you want to take your fighting skills to the next level, start approaching combat as more than just physical. Break it down, analyze it, and learn the academic side of it. Thanks for watching, and remember, self-defense is as much a science as it is an art. Master both.